Hey everybody, I thought I would show you my Raspberry Pi project quick. Um, I have a 125 gallon fish tank here that I set up my Raspberry Pi to control the LED lights. Open up the hood here, you can see I have um, a couple banks of LED lights underneath. Uh, I have three modules total and each module has a set of the white lights instead of the blue lights. Um, so that's two, two banks per module that I can control. So I run downstairs here. To my utility room. Uh, you may have seen my video for my utility room setup. Uh, I just added in this component here, which is my Raspberry Pi project. Uh, so I got a little screen here. Zoom in. So I wrote a Python program um, on the Raspberry Pi to control the, the GPIO pins. And you can see I have um, calculating the daily light cycles for both my actinic lights and the main lights. Um, and then I'm also calculating them for the sump lights and then tide levels as well. Um, I don't have my pump synced up with the tide levels yet. Um, so that'll be a, a future project to work on. Um, so taking a look at what I have set up here. There is the Raspberry Pi in the middle. Um, the Raspberry is controlling this 8-board Sane Smart Relay board uh, just through the GPIO pins. And then all of those are feeding into the just a bank of outlets. Uh, these relays are ra rated for 10 amps, 120 um, volts AC, so I've got those controlling. Uh, like I mentioned when we were looking at the tank, uh, I got three, three modules of lights with two banks each, and a tinic ones for the blue lights, and one for the main lights. Um, so it's kind of, I'd say like 75-80% done. Um, I still got to move all of the transformers onto this board and, and clean up the wires so they're not dangling like a big old spider web. Um, I also have a Arduino Uno board, which is controlled by the Raspberry. Um, and what I'm going to be using that for here shortly, as soon as my order comes in, is controlling the intensity of those main lights up on the, the fish tank. Um, so right now I just got a couple test LEDs in here um, so that I can make sure that the system is running and then I'll swap out these LEDs for a couple of transistors um, that'll be able to do pulse width modulation through the Arduino Uno to control the intensity. So if I jump back down here you'll see that the Tenic lights, main lights, they're rated right about 50% right now. Um, so that'll dim my main lights down to the correct percentage, so I get a full um, sunrise, sunset cycle, um, and then I also have formulas in there to control the winter intensity. Um, so in the winter, uh, the the main light intensity, midday intensity, will be lower, uh, and then I also have the moonlight in there as well. Um, so the the roughly 28 day or, or whatever it is moon cycle. Um, that I'll be able to control with these outlets down here, my, my moon lights. Um, so as soon as my parts come in for finishing up this board, <coughs> I'll be able to do that and I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a status update. Um, but thought I'd share that quick. Hopefully you guys are having fun with your Raspberry projects.